Hi, it's Richard and John, RJ Coins, part number 18 of our two pound head to head challenge. Hunting for the commemoratives, just the really rare ones left now. My best chance perhaps is the underground train, uh, but the uh, Commonwealths for me, the Olympic handovers, Mary Rose and King James Bible still required. Oop, John's is there. Pretty much the same for John, he did find the underground train recently and a guinea. So they're putting him ahead, although he does still need the 15 Britannia. Uh, even where we haven't found ones for the sheep, so John has pretty much stormed those episodes. and probably got a healthy lead overall. Although the sheep are pretty even. Let's see how we go. It's going to be 12 for me in this one, 13 for John. Should be right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen for John. So who can win this one? And are we going to finally find another Commonwealth between us? We have the Paddington Arches, Brunel. I think these last few are going to be very elusive, unfortunately. Act of Union. Two thousand and fifteen there, but uh, the technologies, no rotation. start with. Just another Brunel, a portrait this time. Let's throw them everywhere. Makes them any better if we throw them everywhere, unfortunately. Got a DNA, double helix. Very nice coin, that one, if you do get it in uh, the bunk or a really good condition. Really brings out the detail in that one. Rugby World Cup. Army Pals. The Army Centenary. No keepers so far. Nothing in that one. So just six finds from nine bags. Shakespeare history. Looking good for John at the moment because he's not got a lot to beat. Last bag. B day celebrations and balls. And that 
is it. So the best find is the DNA probably. Aside from that, not even a great number to shout home about. So we'll put those to the side, bring in John. And I think it's pretty certain who's gonna win this one. Can he do it in style and find something for the sheets? Bust to start off. Can he find anything? No, to the point. Trade. I'll just check the edge on that one. Abolition of the slave trade. So two finds in one bag, that's better than I done in the whole hunt for a start. Another Bruno portrait. Just check the old inscription on that one. And a DNA double helix. There you go, so match the best find as well. Bust. So it's halfway there on the number. Probably already there on the quality. Celebration. Another one matching up. Let's have a quick check of the old rotations on a couple of these ones. Bust. Just trying to give me a chance again. Wireless communications, yeah, Marconi. Different finds for the hunt, at least, as well. Nothing particularly rare at all between us at the moment. Got another V Day celebration. And Act of Union. And another. Bruno portrait. Three in one bag, you're spoiling us, John. Edge inscription's correct on that one. Another abolition of the slave trade. So two, four, six, eight. Already above the number as well. More finds. Better finds. Another Bruno portrait. It's a whole stack of them. And Golden Guinea. That's, that's a nice find. That's a sort of borderline keeper, that one. Not one for the sheets. But again, probably the best coin then. It probably overtakes the DNA. It's the best find of the hunt. Bust. Just one bag to go. One last chance to find something for the sheets. We've got an army pals. Army pals are really common. Nice condition one. And a navy centenary <laughs> to finish off. Uh, well, if there was, there wasn't any doubt anyway. But if there had been any doubt, uh, certainly that's a keeper, navy centenary. So stick that one up again. Standard one, not a flag error. 650,000 minted. Definitely the best coin in the hunt. Uh, John wins again.
Thank you for watching. Do like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you again soon.